My boyfriend proposed to me while I was on the crapper and now I think I smell true love, but my close friends disagree and say they smell trouble. Posted by you slash fun underscore fix underscore 4956. It's not as bad as it sounds, my friends are just obsessed with that part, I think. My, 32F, fiancé Peter, 30M, had arranged a candlelight dinner in a hotel room. There were flowers, rose petals, and music. There was my favorite dinner and my favorite dessert. Peter was in a tuxedo, and I was wearing a dress. That evening was so amazing. While I was eating, my IBS started acting up. I ran to the bathroom. It was mortifying, but at least I was comfortable enough with Peter to allow him to come in. I was apologizing for ruining our evening while I was on the toilet, and he said it was okay. I felt like he wanted to ask me to marry him the whole evening. I told him I loved him, and he said, I love you too. I told him, I'm sure you'll take care of me in sickness and in health. That comment made Peter smile, and he got down on one knee. I didn't care that this was the situation, I was so happy to say yes. I felt like he wouldn't have asked that evening if I hadn't said the in sickness and in health comment. I told my best friend Kate, 33F, and another friend Bailey, 33F. I told them the truth. Kate said it's weird, creepy, and a jerk move on his part. I explained that he likely would have put it off if I hadn't mentioned the health comment. Kate said I was desperate and that I should have some respect for myself. Bailey said that if I thought Peter would ask another time, then I should have let him ask another time. Before talking to them, I thought I had the sweetest proposal story. Now I feel like a jerk who caused my amazing fiancé to have a terrible story. Was I wrong here? Edit. The proposal happened on Saturday, and I had been holding off telling my parents and Peter's parents. Both sets of parents live in a different state. Tonight, we told my parents first via video chat. My parents are Bob, 58M, and Susan, 58F. My mom is a massive fan of romance, and I knew she would ask about the proposal. Peter and I told my parents the whole proposal story. My mom was over the moon. She said proposing like that is better than any idea she had. My dad said it just proves the love Peter has for me. My mom asked if she could tell others, and I said sure. I had asked my mom to be my maid of honor. After getting engaged, my choice for maid of honor was either going to be Kate or my mom. I didn't pick my mom despite Kate. I'm not punishing Kate, it's just that Kate's initial reaction to the proposal story would make her being the maid of honor awkward. Plus, my mom is so happy with our union, and she would love to help plan the wedding. Then we told Peter's parents via video chat. His parents are Chuck, 55M and Linda, 59F. They really appreciated the humor in the story. Chuck thanked us for giving them the gift of sharing such an amazing story, if we were comfortable with that. I told him we were confused, but Linda said she's so happy for us. Peter then told his father that he wants him to be the best man. Lastly, we told Peter's sister Juliana, 27F, via video chat, as she lives in another state. She has her father's sense of humor. I hope Kate and Bailey will be bridesmaids. Yes, Kate and Bailey are single. I have been best friends with Kate since the ninth grade, so this little disagreement won't ruin our friendship. Edit. Kate and Bailey both agreed to be bridesmaids when I asked via message. Kate apologized through a message, and she also sent me a video of her apologizing. She said she appreciates that I'm still allowing her to be a key part of the wedding. After several days of thinking about the proposal, she realizes how loving it was. She also said that if she had IBS, she would appreciate a guy who treats her the way Peter treats me. Bailey apologized via message as well. Her apology was brief, and she admitted that Kate told her to apologize. Update one day later. Thank you to all the amazing people who supported me on my original post. After Kate's apology message and video, I messaged her back to say I forgave her and included a link to my original post. She said she really wanted to talk face to face. We went to the gym today, even though I felt like I was going to have an IBS flare up. We talked while we worked out. Kate said that she was upset when she first heard my proposal story and didn't understand why she was so upset at the time. She confessed that, after processing her feelings, she realized it was intense jealousy. Kate revealed to me, for the first time, that she was diagnosed with IBS a few months ago. She said hers is not as severe as mine, but this has been a scary time for her, especially since she's watched me suffer so much from it over the years. Kate admitted she would want that kind of proposal for herself. She said she wishes she could be that comfortable with a man. The comments on my original post made her feel hopeful, and looking up more information about IBS online has also given her hope. Kate had explicitly asked me to make this update post. She apologized again and said she's glad that my mom is the maid of honor instead of her. While she's happy for me, she admitted she's also very jealous. Kate mentioned that, although Bailey sent an apology message too, Bailey still feels awkward talking to me. 
Kate reassured me that Bailey will come around, but right now, Bailey is just too embarrassed after how she acted. I asked Kate if she looked up how common IBS is, and she said she did after reading the comments on my original post. She was shocked by how common it is and said she had been avoiding learning about it because she was scared of what she might find. I made sure to tell her that no guy has ever dumped me because of my IBS. She knows that I had messed around with an embarrassing number of guys before meeting Peter. I explained to Kate that the reason those hookups never progressed into anything real was because I was too ashamed to let anyone see the IBS part of my life. I also told her that the person who called me ugly and nasty more than anyone else was myself. Kate said she hasn't mentally adjusted to this yet, but she thinks she can. I told her she's my best friend, I love her, and that I will help her through this. I made a joke about poopy girls sticking together, and that made her smile. After the gym, I rushed home to the toilet to deal with the IBS flare-up I felt coming. To no one's surprise, Peter took care of me when he came home from work. He even helped me take a bath, as I was experiencing so much discomfort. I want everyone to know that Kate has been an amazing friend to me. The disagreement that was at the center of my original post was extremely out of character for her. I made that post asking if I was wrong because Kate has always been very reasonable. Even with IBS, I'm happy. I have amazing friends, an amazing family, and obviously an amazing fiancé. So, if you don't hear much from me on Reddit, don't worry. I'm probably just living an amazing life, even when I'm stuck on the toilet. Second update one day later. Right now, I'm suffering from one of the worst IBS flare-ups of my life, plus I have one whopper of a cold. But I have good news, both Kate and Bailey visited me. Bailey now knows about Kate's IBS, which Kate shared with her. I was so sick that I was lying in bed when my friends visited, and of course, Peter was there to help me. Bailey actually cried when she gave her first face-to-face -face apology for her reaction to my proposal story. She apologized to both Peter and me, and she even hugged me despite the fact that I have a cold. Peter and I both accepted Bailey's apology. I told her she doesn't have to feel embarrassed to talk to me. My friends and I talked for a little while before I needed to go to the bathroom. They wished me well before leaving, and Peter took care of me, as always. I'm really glad to be on good terms with both of my closest friends again.